So typically in bladder cancers, the, most of the trials have been done in metastatic bladder cancer um, in the second line setting. So there is no standard third line uh, setting. The, typically you'd use single agent chemotherapy agents or clinical trials. Uh, in the non-muscle invasive bladder cancer setting, there are trials uh, that are going to be looking at using this instead of BCG or even there's trials um, combining it with BCG. So you might see some of those tri trials showing effect. The one thing with um, the non-muscle invasive bladder setting is if you fail multiple um, treatments typically one will uh, eventually need to go to cystectomy. So obviously that's, that's a radical procedure where they take out the entire um, bladder um, and that can lead to significant changes in the lifestyle of the patients. It's very invasive and there's, uh, they often can make a neobladder for the patient, but um, it's, it's an involved process. If you could find something that could prevent this very big surgery from going on um, with an immunotherapy that is relatively well tolerated, this would be a huge advance.